Hey guys, welcome back to another video, man. <clears throat> Today, we, the Saints made, or this was yesterday, but the Saints, but the Saints made a couple draft trades, alright? And here, they traded a 2024 first, a fourth round pick. So we traded a fourth round pick next year. And we traded a seventh round pick. Wait, no. I'm reading the wrong thing. We actually traded a 2024 fourth and a 2023 seventh, which was the 227th pick, which was used on Raymond Bohasic. And we also received, let's see, so here we received a 2023 fourth round pick. Which was the 127th overall pick. We use that pick on drum roll, please. It's probably gonna be a little bit boring, but he's not a bad quarterback. Cause at this point, and we drafted him. We, the person that we drafted is Jake Hanger, uh, or whoever you say, how you say his name. I, I think it's Jake Hanger. Uh, we have Jake Keener, quarterback from Fresno State. We drafted, we traded up for him, number 127. I don't like the pick, but the last person we drafted really blew me away, so. Yeah. You know, his hometown is Danville, or Danville. You know, he's 6 feet, 207 pounds. He had a 35 vertical jump. That's pretty good for a quarterback. A 9 6 bro jump. A seven, a seven one three cone drill. Now let's look at his strengths. Strengths are he reads routes, combinations, efficient, effectively. All right, we need that man because you're gonna be James Winston's backup. So basically, you're the backup to backup. But we might get rid of James, honestly. As much as I hate to say it. I won't be surprised if we do get rid of him. I don't, I don't be surprised if he goes back to the Buccaneers just to terrorize us. Because they have Baker Mayfield and Kyle Trash, and that's about it. So, let's see. He scans across the field while working the, ra the, the route progressions. That's good because the guy... For example, like Ian Book that we drafted a couple years ago in the fourth round. That man, he would just stare at the one guy and say, Get open, get open, get open. Just for him to get sacked when there's another guy open. I'm still gonna go rid of him, but he was annoying to watch play. Alright. Here. So actually, no, he scans across the field while working. Oh, I already read that. Alright, so let's see. He slides away from trouble and into safer territory. That's good because you can't be taking hits because one hit, you can your career can be over. We've seen with Andrew Luck happen, so yeah. All right, or no, RIC rest in career. Let's see. He throws with adequate anticipation into windows. I don't know what that means. He's willing to deliver throws in the face of incoming threats. I don't really know if that's like a strength that just proves that he's just brave. He posted a touchdown interception ratio of 53 and 12 over the past two seasons. That's good for college numbers, but not NFL numbers. I'm sorry to tell you that. Now let's see his weaknesses. He has below average size and release quickness. He gazes off target for top long against zone coverages. Didn't they? No, no. <sighs> he has 
I'll see the nose of the ball while dive on some dive th on some drive threats. Wait, what? Lacks NFL arm talent to be late getting the ball out. That's not good. That's not good. You're going to go to the XFL if you do that, buddy. Let's see here. He needs to be much more consistent with ball placement. That's true. He's unable to elude sacks on once pressure it's in the pocket. Honestly, that's not really a weakness. But yeah, that's it, man. We got Jay Kane or we got Nick Saladavari. I'm we saying the next player next. Oh man, I'm tired of this, but peace out.